Here's Philippe again from Chile, working on something interesting today. We're gonna follow our step in um, in in letters and carving things. And today we're gonna carve some plexiglass. And uh, for that, you know me, we're gonna observe first the the way it is uh, it is working in the real life. So now. Here we've got some letters, and and uh, that's come from www.stencilpochoir.com. Normally they use that to paint through them, but uh, it's really interesting to see how the material is working with the light. If we come close, close here, we see that the light comes through the plexiglass and make like a a, a, a clear shadow here. And in the other side, make like a dark shadow. Here, like, we see the border, the light coming through all the material and coming here, casting. We see also something strange, that the plexiglass have a shadow here. We're going to see it better in other shots later. And what else? Also, that is not totally transparent. If we go to that shot was took in Paris or in France, we've got here the shadow really good. We see that the light comes through the plexiglass. That something interesting also is that uh, the texture is a bit blurred here. Is blur is is not so neat that it is here. And also that the transparent part got some shadow. That's important for us. Some screw, nice. And I took a a, sh uh, a picture of a, a piece of glass of my desk just to to watch that phenomenon also, the shadow of uh, of the border with darker. Here a bit is a bit uh, darker that, than here, and here it's is blurred, a bit blurred. Imagine that the plexiglass is not so transparent as glass. This piece of glass is totally transparent. You see, we see also some reflection. So today you're going to make a, a panel with some plexiglass letters uh, done through it. And uh, you're going to see it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Okay. Go down with that. And now here I've got my base. I, I made a, a rough uh, aluminium brushed uh, steel uh, uh, plate just to, to have a base, to have some texture. So on top of that, I'm going to yeah, first make some layers. Everything go in, in layers. Make uh, a layer on top of that. And call it plexi. Okay. So here we're gonna make a rectangle. It's gonna be our piece of plastic. Remember that you you can. You can adjust your selection. So just make a rough selection at the beginning and, and adjust it later. In the corner, you take everything. In the center, you move it. And here in the, in these four sides, you can just uh, stretch it the way you want. So now, which color we want our plexiglass? Can do something in uh, 
in green, like a fluorescent green, something strange, like a piece of of uh, fluorescent green plastic. Okay, we've got it. Now, let's do some letters. Double click on the letters and, and the icon of the letter tool. And here we're going to choose a fat geometric letter. What can we take? Sun, bold, can do. We need a sun, a sun sheriff. If we take a sheriff one with those border here, it's, it's not going to be really nice. That's too family of of, uh, of fonts. We have to know sheriff is has those little border here, and sun sheriff is square. Sheriff bold no. Some Arabic letters. That can be fun, but it's not really well. Chinese thing. Tauma bold. Yeah. Go to Tauma to, to bold. What are we going to write? Meet again. Made the GIMP to do change the color because here we are same color and we are gonna put that in black so it's really visible. That's too small. Increase the size. It's too big. Excuse me, I'm gonna. Go out. And we see the gimp, not the pimp. The bimp. Here we can uh, have it centered. Quite centered. Okay. I think we've got it right here. Okay. We can use a more bold uh, type of letters, but here it's okay. Validate, closing the, the dialog, and now we don't need the um, the font, the text information. We discard it. Discard text information to transform uh, the this this letter, those uh, those font in raster, in just pixels. Now, of course, we need to take to make uh, this part with black. We make, need to make a hole in the glass part. To do that, you know how to do that already. That already, you just select the color of the letters. But um, before, I n we need to do some some trick. Here we just one got one letter with complicated. Is this P? Imagine that we just take a, make the hole in the plastic. The the center here gotta fall down, so we got to sustain it. If you if you see here, you see that all that that letters who normally are closed have some some little little uh, piece of plastic to sustain the the part who gonna fall down. For the six, for example, who normally normally is closed here. Here it's open. Here, here it's open also. For O, for A, uh, uh, A, 
all those letters, if you see them here, the D, get to have some some piece of plastic to sustain it. So we're gonna just take care of that in the P. Take the selection tool. Here you see the the part to manipulate the selection is gonna is 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 outside to be able to uh, to manipulate it. Something like that. Control X and we cut it. So we don't we don't now we don't have a, a piece who can fall down. This piece of plastic is gonna be attached to the west outside. Okay, Control A, and select all. Now we go back to our tool, selecting color selecting tool, select the black, going to the green part, Control X, and, and we and we cut. Now we've got a hole in it. If I take out the letters, we're gonna see through this green part the plate. Now next step is to emulate that uh, special uh, white border who, who need to, to be here down. How it is made? Gonna take uh, our our example here again. This white border follows the form of, of the plastic. It's just coming down here. So what we're gonna do is using a trick that I use often to give some volume to things. Is just Uh, uh, make some a uh, few layers. I think with three or four layers is going to be good, and just moving them one pixel, one pixel, one pixel down. So we've got here. If we just made a make a copy of this layer and we just t take it down uh, from for four or five layers, uh, five pixel down. Here we're going to have like a square, like like it is here. This is a shadow down. It's going. Is coming down here, and we don't have a line here. It's coming down square. So to to uh, to not have that kind of thing, as as a diagonal of the of the border, when I use a trick, I gonna duplicate this layer, the the plexi layer, duplicate it. Okay, uh, put it down and uh, fill it, fill the, the green part in white. Here we've got it. Okay. Now we're gonna duplicate that I think five times. Okay. This first one with M to move, we're gonna move it one pixel down, one pixel white. The second one two pixel down two pixel white. The third has the guess one two three one two three. Fourth one two three four one two three four. And the fifth one two three four five one two three four five. So now, if we come here in the corner, we see that we've got a, a diagonal, 
and our our border okay now this border how it is if we come back to the to the plexi we see that it is down here from from the the surface of the plexiglass plexiglass but it is not the white is not here it's just here so we're going to cut out the plexiglass part out of that of those uh, those those five layers so now we got selected the green so now we're gonna go in the first control X second control X third control X control X and the fifth control X if we take out this one now uh, what is ah we, we got one more control X let's look I've got one too much ah the first one is here so excuse me I take it out okay now we've got what we want okay we got that white border around here if we take down the opacity uh it will be in the white layer begin to have our effect we are gonna work on the opacity later now again now we're gonna make the part with is from the hole down and that is darker we're gonna use the dark green is darker down here we're gonna use the same technique but now if you if you see uh, this darker part got the form of the hole and is going down and down and down so we're gonna take again our color selecting tool we're gonna select the green but now we're gonna just pick the hole okay now make a new layer when I call it dark down here and we're gonna fill it with a glassy green here like that okay so we got the, the outer part it's a bit too clear I think like that okay now we're gonna again duplicate it one two three four this time it's, it's okay with one two three four five and with the move tool move one down one left with the first one two One two three. One two three four. One two three four. I just uh, uh, move the key from my keyboard, <coughs> the arrow key, and that make one step every time. Okay, here I've got it. Now <coughs> I've got to cut the hole again in those. In those uh, in those shadows, if we see here, this green part, this d uh, dark part, is just here. It's not here. Now we got everything outside the letters, so we got to take out the hole, and we already 
already have that selected. So we go to the first one and we cut. Control X, Control X, Control X, Control X, and Control X. So now, what we've got? We've got our this part here, which is down, and this part here. With clear that the the border of the material and that's the shadow inside. Now we're gonna need to take down. Uh, I think to thirty percent all those something like thirty. Ah, no. I got it wrong. Yeah, okay, now, now it's good. We got 30. Yep, and the white to get take down also to 30%. Take just with the keypad, the, the number pad, put your value and, and validate with enter. What's going on? So here we've got our effect, and the interesting part of this 30% and this all those pixels uh, will come uh, one after another is that we've got more clear here and more dark da down there, give like a, a, mat a deepness effect. Okay, now what else we've got? Now we've got the shadow of those border, we see it really better uh, in um, in this one. The shadow of the border. It's strange, huh? That's uh, this cast of shadow, but that is not casting. It's like it's really something strange. I like I like this kind of effect. If we see in uh, in in the, the street one, get also the shadow here. With some, it's blurred because we got some distance. We got some distance here, and uh, and it's blurred. So the shadow. How can we do that? The shadow is from the this part here and this part here. We can do something really simple is take out everything outside sh the shadow and I think uh, in a layer new from visible okay so get a new layer with made where it is now visible it's called visible now I'm going to select everything with transparent because I cannot select the white or the gray. All the transparent part. And Control E like uh, Irene. I never saw, I, I never know how it's different than E like this later. For me it's E and that is I. I never know in English. So Control Give E, I on there. So I to to invert, so, and now I'm gonna fill it with black. Wow, 
control control A to select all and we're gonna increase Here we, we, here we get it. We're gonna move it. In the visible here, we're gonna call it shadow. Huh? Shadow border. We're gonna move it with a uh, M and uh, ten pixel here. And take 10 pixels in the side. Okay, here we've got it. And I take it just here, as in the first place. Now we're gonna, to, we're gonna need to blur it, filter, Gaussian blur. Don't see really what I'm doing. It's too dark. So I think with 10 we we are gonna be okay. If it's not okay, yep, that's okay. And take down the opacity. Okay. Here we've got it. Now, what we need also is some shadow of the, the glass part. Some shadow. Not, not a lot, but some shadow of this part, of the glass part, casting down. Because here, we've got the same intensity in the hole than here. But it's green. It's got some, you need to make some shadow. So again, here now, we're going to double this layer, call it shadow, you follow me, select the green part and fill it in, in black. And with M, move it 10 pixel down. In te and 10 pixel uh, left, uh, right. And here I've got a problem. I don't know why. I don't understand myself. I've got to make some space because I don't see what I'm doing. I know, we, I've got to move some more. Uh, one, two, uh, excuse me. I'm a bit lost with all those lines. To, to come in the other shadow here and some blur tool uh, no not tool filter repeat Gaussian blur no we show Gaussian blur because we want to have less blur here a bit less okay here we've got it and take out some of the opacity and put it down here. So what we got, what we've got now? It's begin to be convincing. Yep, we've got this shadow here. The light go come totally through here and the shadow of the borders, the darker part here around, 
in the shadow of the of the border. Something is not truly white. Yeah, perhaps we can go down a bit with the opacity of of the plexi. And go down a bit with the opacity of the border, the shadow border. The is too dark. Yep, that's better. Okay. Now we are, we've got our our panel. We can put some screw on to help it. And um, and here we got it. I think it's quite okay. The white is a bit too white. Still a bit too white. The last one can give it more consistency. Yeah, I think we are okay. Made the GIMP. Now, you can play with that and make what you want. Uh, I make uh, the, the way a bit easier for you doing some script out of that technique. You can download them uh, uh, with a the image uh, of this show and just put it in, in your script uh, folder. Fa they're going to show up under logo and uh, glass title meet MTG, meet the GIMP. Here, going to just reset it. I've got some different uh, parameters that I've put together, found the image size, the glass opacity, the the glass panel extension uh, uh, proportion between the the final final image and to to have the border here, the color of the glass, the color of the of the background, and some uh, merge layer. If you want to see how it is done, you don't merge the layer. And you see every every layers uh, how it is uh, without having the merging and some texturization. Uh, of the background uh, to give some more um, some more um, so some more really uh, how do you say that ah yeah yeah I'm tired it is uh, it's, it's 23 uh, in the night here in Chile some more effect of the background. Uh, that makes me think that I forgot something uh, in my image. Excuse me a second. Here, uh, we, have, we have said uh, in our examples uh, that under the glass is a bit blurred. You remember? And here it's clear. So I just want to do that. Uh, easy. Going here. Selecting the green, going to the text to the background, and the part we selected, filter, Gaussian blur, and we're gonna blur quite a lot to lose all the texture. So now. Where we've got uh, 
the 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 hole we get we see the details of the background really clearly and uh, when we got no hole it's like really blurred what we can do also if we want it is put some highlights uh, with dodge and burn increase excuse me I want to make some highlights just in the green protecting the alpha We can perhaps simply uh, take a white brush because it's so transparent that, that we're, not, we're not gonna see no, we're gonna see nothing. So we have some reflection here here but that's what you want it's not really needed so coming back to my script uh, if I need under file create logo glass meet the gimp Hello from Chile. Just click OK and we've got after a few seconds our perfect glass panel with everything with us the highlights, uh, the blurred background, the shadow, everything we need. You can also make uh, another kind of of panel with logo glass meet the gimp with logo here you choose you choose your your logo and you're gonna just find something. No folder, I've got one with ready. And um, you have some, some extra feature to have some to text to have a reflection on the logo and uh, have a shadow, uh, the shadow distance, all that things. And uh, just click OK. Your logo gonna be resized uh, to fit. that I just say bye bye to you and enjoy the show number 100 from uh, Rolf next week Meet the Gimp is back in town bye bye every nice day Photocastnetwork.com, your photography resource in the potosphere. Photocastnetwork.com.